With only 300 views per day on my YouTube channel, I'm actually getting between five and 30 email subscribers. And this makes me really happy because I don't think there's many better things that you can own right now than a really great email list. If you have emails of people who are interested in the content that you're putting out, it's really gonna make it so much easier down the line to involve them with your journey, to get feedback from them, and maybe even one day sell them a product that you've created. The problem is a lot of people don't know where to start when it comes to collecting email addresses. I know I didn't. There's a lot of expensive and sort of quite daunting tools out there about how you can you know, optimize your conversion funnels and all that kind of stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna take you through how I set up my email list using Notion and how you can too in just 10 or 15 minutes and with zero cost. Hey guys, how's it going? For those new to the channel, my name's Tom and on this channel we talk about Notion and productivity. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe and you're gonna be notified when I release new weekly videos. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk through a complete email sign-up list using Notion. We're first gonna talk about the importance of a freebie and how you need something to motivate people to part with their email address for you. And then we're gonna look at how you can create a custom landing page using Notion and using the Chili Pepper integration to collect email sign-ups. Then we're gonna look at how you can send these email sign-ups to MailChimp or any other email client of your choice and how Zapier just ties this whole process together. But anyway, enough of me talking, let's get into the demo of how you can get this set up. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to build if you want to collect email signups is a freebie. Now, this seems kind of obvious, but if you wanna get people to give you their email address, you're gonna to need to provide something of value in return. Now, this is gonna be different for whatever industry you're in or whatever your skills might be, but let's have a look at my freebie and we can sort of go through what the common themes of a good freebie might be. So my freebie is all of the Notion templates that I've ever put together, and then I've really just assembled them in to one place, I've made it look pretty, I've tried to provide a good explanation of how to use each of these templates. Now, I think the main thing here is that this is going to deliver value to somebody. And like I said earlier, your thing is gonna be completely different. But the important thing to bear in mind here is just who are the people that I'm looking to communicate with and what would they find valuable and just build something around that. So once you've created your freebie, which is obviously the hardest step of this because it's when you have to think and actually think about how you can add some value, you're gonna be ready to create your landing page. So my landing page is just a page on Notion and all you need to do is create a page, make it public and just give a description about what you're going to be giving away. This doesn't need to be you know, anything long or anything descriptive, just I think a short sort of catchy heading will do. Mine is just no bullshit, no Notion guides. You can see that my page is not the prettiest. You know, I could definitely add some sort of um, custom cover image up here. I could probably play around with the layout a bit, but it gets us 80% of the way there. Now, the most important thing about this page is obviously the form, um, which is where people are gonna put their email address. And to generate this form, you're gonna wanna head over to chilipepper.io. Now, from here, you can create the form and you can edit things such as the button, the call to action, and the color. Then just press next and you're gonna get a choice to either connect your email results with a Notion table or send it to a webhook. What we're ultimately aiming for here is to have a completely automated process where people put in their email address, it gets sent to your mail client and then they automatically receive the freebie with no sort of delay in the time. So here we're gonna to wanna to use the webhook option and now we're gonna look at how we set up that webhook with Zapier. So what we wanna do is head over to Zapier and create an account. Ideally, you've already got one created because this means this whole thing's gonna be free because you can use the legacy plan which allows you to use webhooks. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to upgrade to a Zapier Pro account to give you access to webhooks. Now, when you're in Zapier, create a Zap and you're gonna to wanna to call it probably something like emails to Google Sheet or emails to MailChimp. Then you're gonna to wanna to select webhooks by Zapier and select the trigger to event as catch hook. And now you've got that custom web URL, you can copy that into the Chili Pepper form and press next. And now you're gonna to wanna to just quickly create a Chili Pepper account, copy and paste that embed code and embed it onto your landing page as a uh, sort of Notion table. Now go back to Zapier and just test the process by putting in an email into the Chili Pepper form and Zapier should say if the test was a success or not. 
So what we've done here is we've created a way for you to create a form on Notion, put an email address in and then send that email address directly to Zapier. But we're not currently doing anything with that email address and that's where the next step comes in. We're gonna then send this email address to either Google Sheets or to MailChimp. So how my process is set up is I actually send my emails first to Google Sheets and then to MailChimp. The reason I don't send it directly to MailChimp is because I actually use these emails in uh, sort of other different funnels that I've made. But for your use case, you might just wanna send it directly into MailChimp. But let's go over the Google Sheets use case to start with because it might be interesting for you. So go back into Zapier and press the add action and then just search uh, Google Sheet and select the action as create new spreadsheet row and then connect your account, your drive and finally you want to connect the spreadsheet and the worksheet. So obviously you're going to need to create a Google Sheet before this where you're going to create, uh, collect email signups. Probably it goes without saying, but just be careful on the GDPR side of things. You obviously don't want to be using a page that's public to anyone. Make sure it's a private page and make sure that it's secure. So now we've set up that intermediary step of sending the emails to Google Sheets. We now want to look at how we can ultimately provide the customers who put their email address in with some value. And that's going to involve sending these email addresses to MailChimp and using MailChimp to send them their freebie. It all sounds a bit confusing in a lot of steps, don't worry, we're going to cover it all in enough detail. So you're going to want to set up a MailChimp account if you don't have one already. And this is completely free, this step. What you want to do is go into Automations and then click Create. Um, we're going to want to create a classic automation and let's just call it Welcome New Subscribers and give your campaign a name. I'm just going to call mine uh, Notion Template Intro. Now the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to edit who this email is going to send to. And this is really important because I actually missed this the first time around and it caused me a bit of hassle. You wanna tick this box that says trigger when you import subscribed contacts. And this is gonna mean that when Zapier sends you the subscribers um, from the Chili Pepper form, it's automatically gonna send out the email to those people uh, instantly. Now you're ready to craft your email because you've decided who you're gonna send it to. and. The key thing here is you just want to put a catchy heading and try and add a bit of value in the email itself. So rather than just sending the people who signed up for my templates a link, I also just put a bit of extra effort by saying, you know, if I was new to Notion, this is where I'd start. So here's my, you know, weekly plan, here's my second brain. These are a few ways for you to get started. And I just think this, you know, small amount of added value is just going to give people a pleasant interaction when they first read your email. Now another thing you might want to do here in this intro email is notify your subscribers of other places where they can find you. I do this by actually telling them that I have automatically enrolled them into my newsletter that goes out every Sunday and if they want to unsubscribe they can do so. You might not feel comfortable being um, this ballsy I suppose because you know, it's not necessarily a comfortable thing to just start sending somebody a newsletter. But the way I justify this is if they're interested in my Notion guides and they're interested in productivity, that's exactly what my newsletter is about. So it's not some sort of random thing that they've got no interest in. And of course, it's free and they can unsubscribe whenever they want. So just something to bear in mind here, link into the email, other places that they can find you, and it's going to help with just sort of generally um, building up your profile of a content creator or whatever type of image you're trying to give out there online. So once you've got that newsletter set up, you're then going to want to create one final zap, which is going to take it from the Google Sheets to the MailChimp. Like I mentioned earlier, you can actually just sort of skip that intermediary step of the Google Sheets and send it directly from the Chili Pepper form with the webhook. But let's assume for the purposes of this demo that you have got that Google Sheet set up. So go into Zapier and create a new Zap. And this time the trigger is going to be a new row being created in a Google Sheet. This means whenever a new row is created in that Google Sheet you just made, it's gonna trigger the Zap to go. And for the action, select MailChimp. And then the action event you want is actually gonna be add new subscriber. Then connect your MailChimp account and choose the audience that you want to use for your MailChimp. Now, if you're using it very basically like me, you're probably gonna only have one audience in MailChimp because that's all the free plan allows. But you can get clever here and you can divide up your audiences depending on which landing page you sent them to. You can also add tags. Personally, I just like to keep this super simple so I don't mess around with any of these fields. So the only other thing you're probably gonna wanna do is just test this, uh, send it to a couple of friends, um, get them to you know go through the whole process of signing up on the form and then seeing if they get the email. 
get them to spell check your email as well. Uh, you don't want to have any uh, embarrassing spelling mistakes, but apart from that, you should be pretty much set up and ready to go. So I would just like to mention who I think this is good for and who it's not. The key thing about this, I think, sign up flow is it's really great for beginners because it's very easy to set up. You don't need to buy any custom domains. You don't need to have a sort of a lead generation landing page or use any of those services. You can literally do it with Notion, Zapier and MailChimp, which all of them can be free accounts. You might have to pay for the Zapier if you're not already on a legacy account, but it's not too much a month. And to be honest, Zapier is a great sort of tool to have anyway for anyone interested in productivity. Now, one thing this is not really good for is people who are really looking to optimize their funnel. The data that I receive from sort of MailChimp and from my uh, Notion page, even though I use the Fruition um, integration, is not great. I mean, I can basically see potentially where people have come from, but I can't do A-B testing, I can't do anything like that. So if you're wanting to really optimize your flow, this is probably not the route to go down. And I think it's sort of natural to think this is something that you'll probably outgrow. If you're getting to the point where you're getting hundreds and hundreds of signups a day, you're probably gonna to wanna to optimize your flow a little bit better. But for this sort of intents and purposes, getting from zero to one, going from not having any email subscribers to having you know a fair few, I really do think this is a great option option. So thanks a lot for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, I'm going to leave a playlist here of other videos that you can check out for my Notion guides. But thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.